Welcome you all in our eCelebrity News Channel. We are an online entertainment news channel that produces videos on the most recent and accurate Hollywood, Hollywood, and Bollywood news, movie reviews, celebrity lifestyle news, and television news. In short, we offer the most recent information about the entertainment industry. Short Introduction of Cassidy Jacqueline Hutchinson Cassidy Jacqueline Hutchinson, who worked as a former aide in the White House and assisted Mark Meadows, the former chief of staff, during the Trump administration, gave testimony at a public hearing of the United States House Select Committee on the January 6th attack on June 28, 2022. During her testimony, she spoke about the behavior of President Donald Trump, his senior aides, and political allies leading up to and during the Capitol attack on January 6, 2021. Hutchinson's testimony gained significant national attention, with many media outlets describing it as compelling and explosive. However, she also faced criticism from conservative Trump supporters. Early Life of Cassidy Jacqueline Hutchinson Hutchinson grew up in Pennington, New Jersey and completed her high school education at Hopewell Valley Central High School in 2015. Between 2015 and 2018, she attended Christopher Newport University, where she pursued a Bachelor of Arts degree in Political Science and American Studies. In 2019, she successfully completed her degree. Hutchinson identifies as a first-generation college student. Career of Cassidy Jacqueline Hutchinson During her time as a student at Christopher Newport University, Hutchinson completed several internships. In the summer of 2016, she worked as an intern for Republican Senator Ted Cruz, and in the summer of 2017, she interned for Republican U.S. House of Representatives Whip Steve Scalise. Hutchinson then served as an intern in the White House Office of Legislative Affairs during the summer of 2018 and later became an employee of the office. In March 2020, Hutchinson was selected by Mark Meadows to be one of his aides when he became Trump's fourth chief of staff. She was promoted to become Meadows' principal assistant and continued in this role until the end of the Trump presidency, with the title of Special Assistant to the President and Coordinator for Legislative Affairs. Her office was located near Meadows' office, just down the hall from the Oval Office. Hutchinson was responsible for taking notes during meetings, traveling with Meadows, monitoring his phone, and carrying out his instructions. She was considered a trusted confidant of Meadows. While working as a White House legislative aide, Hutchinson was captured in a nationally syndicated AP photograph dancing to the Village People song, YMCA, with White House Press Secretary Kayleigh McEnany at the end of Trump's September 21, 2020, campaign rally in Swanton, Ohio. At the end of Trump's term, he stated that Hutchinson was supposed to work for his post-presidency operation in Florida, but the plan was abandoned suddenly before she could begin. January 6th Committee Testimony Hutchinson was subpoenaed to give testimony to the United States House Select Committee on the January 6th attack and had already given four depositions, lasting more than two dozen hours, prior to testifying on live television on June 28, 2022. Before her March 7th deposition, she received messages from Trump allies urging her to display loyalty to Trump during her testimony. A few days before she was due to testify, Hutchinson fired her attorney, Stefan Pasantino, who had close ties to Trump associates, and hired Jody Hunt, a former long-serving Justice Department official and chief of staff for Trump's first attorney general, Jeff Sessions. Pasantino, who had been the top ethics attorney for the Trump White House, denied allegations in the final report by the January 6th committee in December 2022 that he had coached Hutchinson and offered her jobs in order to make her say that she could not remember certain events. On events leading to January 6th, during her June 28th testimony, Hutchinson stated that she overheard mention of the Oath Keepers and Proud Boys during the planning of the Save America march when Trump's personal lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, was present. She also revealed that both Meadows and Giuliani had sought presidential pardons, and that Congressman Matt Gates, Andy Biggs, Scott Perry, and Louis Gohmert had also requested pardons. Furthermore, Hutchinson testified that on January 3, 2021, White House Counsel Pat Cipollone expressed concern about Trump's plan to march to the Capitol with his supporters on January 6, saying, We're going to get charged with every crime imaginable if we make that movement happen. She also stated that on December 1, 2020, Trump threw his lunch plate against a wall in a White House dining room, splashing ketchup on the wall, when he learned that Attorney General William Barr had made a public statement that he had not discovered any evidence of election fraud. On January 6th events On January 6, 2021, 
During the U.S. Capitol riot, former President Donald Trump tried to order the removal of magnetometers at the rally site even though his supporters were carrying firearms, according to testimony by White House aide Heather Lynn Barry Hutchinson. Trump insisted that he did not care if his supporters had weapons, and the committee played police radio transmissions of people with guns, including AR-15s. Hutchinson also testified that after the rally, Trump tried to grab the steering wheel of the presidential SUV and lunged at his lead Secret Service agent, Robert Engel, when told it was too dangerous to drive to the Capitol. She said Trump became irate when informed they were returning to the White House. Hutchinson also recalled hearing former White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows saying that he did not think there was anything wrong with the rioters calling for the hanging of Vice President Mike Pence. Additionally, she claimed that she was pressured by Trump allies not to talk to the committee and that she was able to conduct an interview with the committee without former White House counsel Stefan Passantino's knowledge. Passantino allegedly wanted her to skirt around the committee's questions and told her that they only wanted to focus on protecting the president. Hutchinson gave additional testimony in September 2022, during which she claimed that Meadows told her Trump knew he had lost the election. CNN reported that Secret Service agents corroborated some parts of her testimony, including a heated exchange between Trump and his Secret Service detail when they refused to take him to the Capitol after the rally.